एक में बार भी एक में ओपन है बार बार सिलेक्ट हो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन इट इज बाबन हाई मो वीकेंड एंड वी आर हेडिंग आउट टू आर सिटी मॉल टू रिकॉर्ड सम शेनानिगन्स एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन हियर um devang will explain the rules to you now let me explain you what the challenge is going to be about we have bought two tickets for open aimer and one for barbie so one of us has to watch barbie all alone now who among these three chaps is going to be the one to watch barbie all alone only time will tell i'm here at the metro station um there's a lot of rain i'm pretty sure you can hear it it's going to cause a lot of problems what can you do got to board the train let's see what devang is up to boys i've reached the goal has been achieved Our city is like right in front of me. I just got to cross the road. Those idiots haven't arrived yet, so I'll have to wait for them probably for like half an hour. The main character has arrived, ladies and gentlemen. He's running. So, what time? One time, one time, one time. Open, my boy. Select one. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I was Barbie all alone and this is my review. So I would give Barbie a solid 6 out of 10 and for me this is not Greta Gerwig's best work. I thought Little Women was by far her best movie. Let's talk about the things that I liked about the movie. Firstly the attention to detail for set designs and the general aesthetic of the movie was commendable. Even if you talk about the costumes and the general look of the characters it reflected what Barbie is all about. The movie talks about personal identity and how to be comfortable in one's skin. What I also liked about this movie was that it doesn't just talk about Barbie having a crisis but also Ken having issues of his own and how he deals with them in the movie. Greta Gerwig's references to Space Odyssey 2001 and The Truman Show are really commendable and do add a layer to the movie. I would also like to commend the writing because it is difficult to maintain one theme or aesthetic throughout the movie but Barbie did just that. the story doesn't digress away too much just to please a wider audience it has maintained the theme that is true to barbie now coming to the things that i felt were a bit redundant the songs and the musicals for me just didn't work out maybe it's because i have grown up watching a lot of bollywood dance numbers that the mellow and slow music of barbie just didn't hit it for me the performance i liked watching in the movie were america ferrera and ryan gosling they really stood out for me especially ryan the scenes were comparatively funny whenever ken was on the screen Eat any can. Well, that's it for me. That was my review. But you go and form your own opinion, and let's see what Adnan has to say. Hello, everyone. I just got back uh, from the Oppenheimer um, movie. It will be a non-spoilery review. Um, so Devang has already done his portion of the Barbie review, and I'm gonna go ahead with the Oppenheimer one. If you truly want. The theatrical experience Oppenheimer is the way to go. The movie is brilliant. Christopher Nolan's brilliance shines through and through. Incredible visuals. The score is immaculate. You will really feel like you are either immersed in Cillian Murphy's Oppenheimer's character's mind and you will truly feel like that this is the true cinematic experience. It it is not a plot-driven story. It is a character-driven story through and through. Each character shines through Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr, Cillian Murphy steal the show. The supporting characters do their job really really well. There are a lot of political terms being thrown around such as fascism, nazism, uh communism, anti-communism, stuff like that. So you'll have to if you're unfamiliar with those terms, you will have to research a little bit. But uh, for a guy like me who's like pseudo 
familiar with all of these terms i kind of understood where uh, the characters motives were coming from you cannot expect how the ending goes even though you know what will happen you wouldn't understand what is going on in the movie until the very last second of the movie this is a kind of movie that you cannot hope to miss in the theaters and i recommend you go to the imax experience because i didn't i couldn't get the tickets for that but um, oppenheimer is a masterpiece and it should be experienced in imax and it is such a rewarding movie that you will definitely feel like you have been satisfied with the money that you've put in to watching such a film because we haven't had a cinematic experience like this in a while because we've been accustomed to marvel movies and superhero movies and movies that have been led by action rather than plot or character driven stories or an interconnection between the two so this is a wonderful experience and you will definitely enjoy it Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for taking the time. If you're here still, um, could you just subscribe if you can? Even if you cannot, that's fine. Um, stick around for other videos. We have got lots of stuff coming for you. And thanks. Thank you for watching. See ya.